What's that, people? Welcome back to the WDN, you hear me? Welcome back to the Truth Talkers channel. Welcome back to LG's channel. Shout out to the WDN, shout out to all the TTC, all my divisional rivals, y'all already know what it is. Take two of these with you. Atlanta fell clown from 25-point chokes. The Carolina Pussycats are 15 and one or a record that wind up doing nothing. And you're still choking and the, the, the Tampa Bay yucks. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all three of y'all because I know y'all really feel like, you know, you know, um, the Bucks. I know they feel like they're on a rise, you know, because you got Jameis Winston, uh, uh, excuse me, James Winston, you heard me, and all these people, cool. You got uh, the Pussycats, Cam Newton, you got Christian McCaffrey. He nice, I give y'all that. You got Atlanta Fell Clowns, you know, uh, Matt Ryan, you know, and uh, all these little guys. But we seen what happened last year, so we know y'all going to have a hangover. That is that that brings into my team, that New Orleans Saints. Talk, touching up on the draft picks and touching on the free agency, you heard me. Uh of course. Great, great, great offseason as far as I'm concerned. A lot of people wasn't cool with it, but I'm 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 hype as ever this season, you heard me. The, um for the uh, draft picks we got Marshawn Lattimore. Um he's injury prone, but he was the best cornerback in the draft. So you can't really blame the Saints for picking him. You know what I'm saying? Um uh, picked up some decent pieces. Um uh, I think this guy named Alex Anzalone, if I'm pronouncing it right. Picked up some nice pieces on defense, you know, uh, where we definitely need to help at. You know, so I'm definitely happy to see that. Uh, Marcus Williams, that's a steal. He was a safety. Look out for this guy, Elvin Kamari, uh, you heard me? Elvin Kamari, you dig? Uh, Reggie Bush, last Darren Sproles player that we've been missing for years. It's finally back, and he's doing some dangerous things in training camp. How I know? Now, not only have I been keeping up with coverage, but I actually went to one of the training cap sessions, you heard me? So, yeah, I've been keeping up. Um, the team look hungry this year. And I know I've probably said that past season, but the vibe is feeling is feeling extreme, you know what I'm saying? And also, WDN, if you haven't paid attention, um, the last time the Saints have actually done anything, win-wise, win is when it was training in Metairie, you know what I'm saying? Every time they come and just train right here at home, they always dominate. You know what I'm saying? And become one of the best teams, if not the most dangerous team in the NFL. You hear me? So coming back home was a great thing. And I'm happy, very happy Sean Payton thought about that. Of course, in our free agency, we picked up Larry, Larry Walford. You hear me? Um, a hell of a, you know, a hell of a uh, pick. You know, protecting the inside. Um, Andrews Pete, he's coming to his own. Um, we also picked up Ryan Ramchek. That's in the draft. You hear me? He doing his thing. Shout out to him. Um, who else we uh, picked up? Um, the free agency, we also got Ted again Jr. That's a uh, Carolina Panther, former Carolina Panther wide receiver, you hear me? But, you know, playing him to Drew Brees, you know, he'll make you look better. You know what I'm saying? Shouts fired to the Carolina Pussycats. You dig? Ted again is like our Devery Henderson type player that we've been missing for a while. You dig? Um, so, yeah. Um, we made we made a nice couple of picks. I can't think of all of them, but we made we made a nice couple of free agency uh, picks this year, you hear me? Of course, the biggest one of all, Adrian Peterson, AP, the greatest running back of this generation. Teaming up with Mark Ingram, who just had a 1,300-yard season last year, and also Elvin Kamara, who who's a rookie, who's going to do his thing this year. He's going to be dangerous because he fits right into that Reggie Bush last Darren Sproles role. Even some people are comparing him to Marshall Falk, you hear him as the coach said. So, yeah, this year should be no reason, WDN. It shouldn't be no reason for our team to actually compete, you hear me? If if if, if the defense prepares against Drew Brees, we can – we can destroy them with the run game. If they prepare us against the run game, we can destroy them with Drew Brees. You hear me? Anyway, they want to stuff the box or stack the box or think that you can outplay Drew or the running game, you can really switch the game up. And it's not just three running backs. You hear me? It's three dominant running backs. You got Mark Ingram, who just had a BC, a thousand yards. You got Adrian Peterson, the greatest running back of the generation. And you got a speed back. You hear me? You know, Drew, you know Sean Payton, mastermind. He's going to figure out how to use all of them. You hear me? So, yeah. I'm excited, man. WDN, if you're excited, give me a comment under like, subscribe to haters. I know you're going to comment, do your thing, do what you do. But that's a warning message to everybody that that's on our schedule this year. We coming for you. You dig? We ain't scared of none of y'all. Just let y'all know that, man. You know, um, you know this 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 season going to be something serious. I can feel it. Matter of fact, that's a bold prediction I'm making right now. The Saints going back to the playoffs this year, you heard me? Watch it. Ain't no reason we can't. You heard me? Bold prediction. You know what I'm saying? Bold prediction, baby.